Welcome back to Halls of Torment, and the last time we joined the beta in this game, where we have the potions, the cupbearer and everything, but today we want to do something that I promised a long time ago, which is we are going pretty much for the strongest weapon that I know in this game, and we are using a very specific setup. Now to understand, there are certain things in this game that you can only get once you have specific weapons for that. So for example, that you get the fire affinity and the electric affinity or what it's called, you need to have a weapon that deals fire damage and electrifying damage. And even though you may think that it doesn't matter for the ring blade, right, because we can't set the enemies on fire, it does matter because it also gives crit chance and that is incredibly good, like that just helps to crit more. So what we'll do today is we'll mainly focus only on the ring blades, we will try to go for as much amount as possible, so we'll just shoot out a huge amount of projectiles and then we will go for complement Complementary additional abilities. Wait, that's actually that's actually quite a good one. Yeah, let's go for that. Yeah, we'll go for the lightning strike, not because it's amazing, but because it has both electrifying damage that will unlock the electric affinity. And once you upgrade it to have explosions, it will also have the fire affinity unlocked. But yeah, yesterday I saw something that brought a smile on my face, which is that Asmund Gold is playing Halls of Torment. And in case you don't know that, in April last year he brought a huge audience to Vampire Survivor and then ended up using two of my guides to kill Red Death, which is a ginormous thing, okay? When you're a tiny creator, or I guess a creator of any size, and someone uses your content to achieve something, like, which is the point of a guide, right? That someone learns something and manages to do something, that is a ginormous compliment. And seeing him making a return to the Horde survival is just amazing. Though I'm still kind of hoping that he will go for some solo weapon limit break runs in Vampire Survivors, just saying, in case he ends up, like, seeing this video, randomly. I can only highly advise it if you like chaos and if you like low bit rates, okay? <laughs> oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Uh, that's my Saturday. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I think attack speed and a lot of projectiles is probably the most fun build that you can go for. Now, whether it's actually the best one or not is a whole different thing. But we also have additional strikes over here, which is more valuable than attack speed in my opinion. There's also Gondol that gives 20% attack speed, but I think this is just better to shoot out way more projectiles. And as you can see, our ring blades, they are not that special so far. We just shoot out three of them usually, two to three. But uh, once we get to higher values and once we get to upgrade it, you will see this entire stage will be covered in ring blades. But yeah, it's important to understand that every single character in this game has unique upgrades to himself and they always have two paths that you can take. So as you can see here, we can either take crit or we can take additional projectiles. Now this one is just for the main weapon, that means it doesn't affect any other weapon. But there are some upgrades that you can get, they affect everything. And the archer has one where you get additional projectiles on everything. And the way I love to play the ring blades, again, not because it may be the best one. I think there are mathematically speaking better builds that you can choose, but it's so hilarious when you just shoot out a ginormous amount of projectiles. Multi-hit is also amazing. We definitely want that. Uh, is that actually what we want to have? Kind of, right? Attack speed is really good. Yeah, let's go for that because there are not that many attack speed upgrades. Optimally speaking, you also want to have some size and when we see the triple upgrade, there's like one that makes the area bigger, the cone size bigger and the damage increased. We'll also take that maybe once or twice, just that they're not this this tiny like i mean <laughs> look 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 <laughs> i said we want to go for mainly projectiles but if it's that small it's, it's just not enough for me sorry as usual we have to wait until the ring blades are level three that we can get an upgrade for them the way i would like to do it is that we pick up the card at level three that we don't gamble like that i'm not forced into something else but optimally speaking yep uh, that is actually the one that i wanted let's take that optimally speaking we do get the lightning strike right away and i can start upgrading it because we need to get the trade upgrade for it, the explosion one, that we get fire affinity. And as a final weapon, I'm not too sure what we want. Memorizing bottle. Oh, okay. I guess that was a little bit unexpected. The ring blades are currently level three. Oh, wait, that means we can do it. 
Oh, that's sad. But yeah, watch this, watch this, okay? So before we shot out always three per cycle, and um, yeah, that, that's a little bit more, isn't it? We went from three to nine, and the more attack speed we get, the faster this happens, the more mount we get, the faster this happens. Uh, what I could do now is we could wait up here next to the card until this is level six, but that will take ages. We need to reach level 50 for that. Hmm, that, that is a little bit too long, isn't it? Yeah, movement speed is good to get around faster. Oh, do I gamble it? Do, do I just do it? Do I hope that we just get the lightning strike? Technically speaking, we do not need the lightning strike. We can also get something else that has electrifying damage or fire damage. And then we just get two additional weapons. But as you can imagine, that is not optimal. Like, the lightning strike is just a perfect fit for this. Attack speed. And I also have to walk down there. Do we just do it? Let, let's just do it. Okay, okay, <laughs> I'm not happy about this. We'll take the Transfiction, this one can apply Fragility and a Affliction I think it's called. One just causes damage over time to deal more damage and one causes direct hits to deal more damage. So it's a good one to use, additional projectiles is also amazing because that means it doesn't really kill more and instead it just applies more debuffs which is what we want since in the end we'll focus on the ring blades. And there it is. Perfect, fast, that is exactly what I was looking for. A few more upgrades and the ring blades will actually have a reasonable size where no matter where they go they will always end up hitting an enemy. And if you then shoot out, I don't know, 15 of them, I think it is, right? We went from 3 to 9 plus 6 is 15. And this obviously goes up more and more and more. Now the equipment that I'm using right now is the wind crown. The more you kill, the more attack speed you get. When you stand still with the hunter scarf, you get up to 40% bonus damage, that is a lot. And we also have the guiding star, which means right now we are moving around, we lose 30% attack speed but once we are done and I just stand still, we'll attack a ton, okay? And right, we also get this upgrade now because we have the Transfiction. I don't know, I don't think this applies to everything. I think the chance only applies to the Transfiction. I may be wrong with that, but this is what I meant when I said only once you get certain things, they get unlocked, which makes sense, right? Because they don't apply to other things, usually, except for the crit chance. Somehow this, this applies to everything, I don't get it. Ooh, another ingredient. Nice part is it also spawns additional enemies and I'm not complaining. It's more experience and they are so easy to kill. So yeah, let's go for even more movement speed because we have to walk back to the magnet later. Ooh, we just killed the boss and that is perfect. That is the upgrade that I wanted. So here we have two potions. This one just rerolls the trades, but it doesn't work for these here, sadly. And this one doubles it. What? Wait, well, I had no idea that's a thing. Wait, that, um, um, okay. Um, wait, that is absolutely crazy. I already know what I want to double, but if you can have multiples of those, like not just one, but multiples, that would be absolutely insane, that would be mental. Like you could multiply so many effects there, and I know I'll go for the one that increases the projectile amount, yeah, let's go for this again. But wait, that is absolutely bonkers. Oh, I have to collect more of these potions, now I'm a little bit salty that I don't have more of them. Maybe you can also only use one per run, let's just pretend that's the case so I feel better. And yep, there we go, do you see that? Do you see that? Uh, well, let, let's let's double this, okay, reverberant tincture. Oh my god, that actually works. Wow! So if you take a look at the ring blades, uh, yeah, we have 3.8 down here. You can see that the weapon proficiency trade is at plus 40%, right? Because we were at plus 20, we doubled it, plus 40%. And uh, we still have a trade left to upgrade for the ring blades. But this is how many we already have. And what you see in blue there is pretty much what we get again once we have the next upgrade for it. Okay, we got the card down here. Do I just want to pick it right now? Because I'm pretty sure the Transfiction is level 3. Yeah, so it should get upgraded. Sadly, we didn't get the stuff that I wanted, but now we apply Affliction. Very nice. I kind of realized just now that, uh, yeah, the Transfiction also gets a huge buff to projectile amount. <laughs> Doesn't this look amazing? But if we compare the damage, this one did 479,000 already, while this one only did 171,000. And the thing is, the ring blades, they get extremely crazy later on. So right now, they are actually rather weak, like they don't really do a lot. Uh, yeah, this is the state where they don't do a lot, but we shoot out so many of them. Oh, big is big. That also means we can upgrade again. Let's do that right now. There's piercing blades. Oh, I don't like that because now we have to wait for Transfiction to be level 6. And then we just have to hope that we get lightning strike. Yeah, that will be important. But um, do you see the chaos that is going on here? <laughs> 
<laughs> and we can still upgrade this a lot, okay, to make this way, way, way stronger. Oh yeah, and transactions level 6, please, please. Oh, that's really not good. Oh, that's bad. Because this doesn't cause fire. Okay, that means on the next card I'll just have to gamble that it's a lightning strike. And yes, I do want to have that. Oh, okay, this time we have to choose between these two. Oh, I wish I could check out the current... Yeah, you can't check out the current crit chance. Because it will go up by a lot, but I, I'll just assume that this one here is better. That we don't need more crit chance in the future. Let's just check it out quickly. So, yeah, it's 65%. And we'll bump this up further. Nah, I think this was fine. Maybe we should have taken it to 100%, but honestly, I don't think it matters all too much. We do have a magnet down there, so I will pick this up. The nice part about the ring blades is they pretty much fly over the entire stage. I, I don't think that's how it should be, but that's what I do. And that means anything that gets created, like... Pots or so, they randomly get destroyed while you walk around, or even when you just stand still. And uh, there's more pickup range, nice. Yeah, do you see how far down this magnet is? Like, it's really far away. And that just recently got created after it got destroyed. <laughs> Come on. How far away is it actually? So for 8, hmm, we could go for attack speed, but there's also a big chunky upgrade. No, I'll go for 9 for the big chunky upgrade. Now we just go for attack speed to have even more of them. Again, not really the optimal thing that you would want to do, because at this point you rather want to focus on making them bigger, or just making sure that you have enough crit, like 100% to always crit. But uh, I, I just want to have as many of them as possible. Okay, that makes me happy. How far away are you? Wait, isn't it around the corner? Where is it? Um... Um, okay, I have bad news. We can't get over there. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is outside of the accessible map part. Okay. Well, great that I collected the other vacuum, by the way. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? The sheer amount of projectiles we are shooting out with everything. Oh, would you look at this? There's a boss. <laughs> Try, trying to approach. That is usually a quite tanky boss, just saying, okay? That's a quite tanky boss, and we just decimated him. You see, you can always argue about, oh, what is the strongest, what is the best, because it also depends on the situation. But this is definitely what I would call the most insane build. By insane, not even meaning the best damage build. Like, I'm, don't get me wrong, okay? It's strong. But just looking at this, how much is flying around and how much you're hitting and killing. And just the sheer amount of projectiles is what gets me, what I love about this. Usually when I play this game, I'm a big sucker for just getting a huge amount of projectiles because it looks hilarious. So, yeah, this, this is exactly up my alley. Oh my god, we actually got the big here. There's only one more upgrade that we can get, and I'm not too sure what I want to take there. 10% effect on hit chance sounds very good to me. Yeah, so the final upgrade is either crit chance, we don't really care about that. Attack speed and cone size sounds good to me. Base damage and crit damage multiplier. That is probably the best one, or the one that increases the base range by 60%. It will be a tough choice between those, which one is the best one. The thing is we crit a lot, so having a plus 0.1 crit damage multiplier it kind of matters, but it's 0 0.1, right? It's like 10% bonus damage on crits. It's like, wow. But 10 base damage with so much crit that we have, that is insane because it also gets multiplied, right? Yeah, I, nah, it's a tough call. Could you please take a look at the number here jumping up down there? <laughs> Isn't this amazing? Keep going, my friend. Keep going. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah, there's our ticket. Okay. That means now we have to gamble. Please, game. Be my friend. <gasps> I actually can't believe it. I'm not used to that. That it happens. We, we, we got it. Um, uh, okay, and there we go. There's lightning affinity. Look at this. So, let's go back to the ring blades. Right now, they have 70% crit chance. And you'll see, once we upgrade this again... Um, no, I don't care about that, right? That's like the worst one, yeah. On crit chance is also perfect because we have a huge amount of crit. Do we just go for the attack speed and cone size? Yeah, let's just do it, okay? I want to have as many of them as possible. But yeah, let's focus a little bit on the lightning strike that we get it upgraded. We need to evolve it still. Honestly, I can just take that. 
Oh, let's go for area here. Yeah, now that we have lightning strike, we also got area upgrades. And this is what makes the lightning strike so insanely good. Does it make any sense that only this one gets area upgrades because this one also benefits from it? No, it doesn't make any sense. But yes, that's how it works in this game. Some of these weapons or some of these traits, I should say, they unlock certain upgrades. Like, for example, the golem. Okay, he can crit, but he will not have crit bonus, like crit chance bonus that you can get from level ups. That means you need to get a weapon that has crit chance bonus for it and then you get it for the golem as well which it doesn't make any sense right because the golem can crit that's one of the best parts about him and the slapping of course and this is why i said the lightning strike is the best complementary weapon that you can take and oh wow okay you also get range i don't think that matters at all wait that does matter doesn't it affect how far they go out i'm pretty sure it does Oh yeah, 60% base range, look at this. But did you see, the moment we picked up lightning strike, we got range and we got area. Before that, we didn't have it. Insane weapon. On its own, not the strongest. Okay, early on it clears a huge amount of enemies and helps you just catapult up your level up, so that's great. But later on, not that great anymore. However, it buffs up all the other weapons and there's more area. Beautiful. Oh, additional strikes or attack speed. I think I'll just go for additional strikes because we have a lot of percentage increases. Yeah, that sounds very good. Okay, now we are facing the Hydra. This should be fairly simple, honestly, because we are incredibly strong. More crit chance. I do need to upgrade the lightning ring, though. Otherwise, yeah, okay, area... I need to get another card, and it will take a moment until we get that. There's more additional strikes, nice. Attack speed sounds perfectly amazing. And how long does it actually take to kill the Hydra when I stand next to it? Uh, that is, like, one of the toughest bosses in this entire game. Except for the final bosses, of course, but, um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you see how amazing this is? Oh my god, even more additional strikes. How many additional... Okay, so first of all, do you see how this got bumped up? Yep, yep, the affinity is working. How many... 4.8. Oh my god, okay, I have to bump up attack speed though. Yeah, we have a ginormous amount of additional projectiles. Now these guys here, they are quite annoying. Isn't it insane that while walking around, instead of getting plus 40% attack speed, I lose 30% and it's a multiplier, so it's a huge effect. And yet there's still so much getting shot out and the moment I stand still, it's just like, okay, yeah, let's go crazy. <gasps> we have explosive strike. Okay, get ready for this. So before we didn't have fire affinity. Okay, there's just lightning affinity. But remember, this was at 75% before I just picked that. Yep, it does apply to everything. And we will get another 15% in crit just from fire affinity. And um, I actually thought this would give crit. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't. I wonder if the burn chance also applies to the normal weapons. I do don't know if that's the case. Okay, this is the final upgrade. Let's take that. Now we have everything maxed out. Yeah, I don't know if the burning chance applies to normal weapons. How would I even check that? I guess down here, maybe? Uh, apply debuffs 500,000 times. Okay, that's... I didn't plan to do that. <laughs> you know, great when stuff like that randomly happens. Fire area. I wonder... Uh, this should only apply... It does say general trait. Applies to the main character on all abilities if possible. Yeah, but if possible... Hmm. No, I don't think the other ones can burn, right? Like, I'm looking if maybe the ring blades do it because they're magical. I, I don't think I see a burn down there. Yeah, the thing is, it's a really low chance, so you wouldn't really see it either way. Let's take a look at uh, burn them. We haven't burned anything so far. <laughs> Okay, you know, maybe the burn chance is not that great. Maybe you could have just went for the Kugel Blitz then to get the electric affinity, but like not care about the rest. Yeah, maybe. And the thing is, the Kugel Blitz is way stronger. But hey, the point is, we want to focus on the main weapon, okay? The main weapon is just the ring blades. Do you see how fast it attacks, by the way? And it actually has to wait here until everything is cast. <laughs> That's actually quite insane. Wow. I'm still looking. I, I Wait, I actually see a bunch of enemies getting burned. Wait, do you see that? Is that a lightning strike just exploding or are they actually getting burned? No, I I think here. It's sometimes a little bit hard to see if they get burned or not or if... Is it just... Uh, it, it's so hard to say. Uh, okay, I didn't even notice that I'm getting charged. <gasps> There's a magnet up there. Wait, did you see that? Wait, where is that? Please be... Oh my god. Please don't... <gasps> okay, okay. 
Um, yeah, we got the magnet now. That means at the end we get full upgrades. We are still missing a bunch of area and range upgrades. I wish we got the lightning strike earlier because I wasted a bunch of upgrades on defensive things. But that means we can just pick that up, get all the experience, get range, get area, and then we can take a look at the full build when everything is completed. And when you do this, you obviously want to hope for the lightning strike to show up earlier. Uh, what is happening with the guards down there? <laughs> they usually walk in one line. Um, guys, what, 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 what happened to you? Are my ring blades just shooting them away? Yeah, look at this. They're getting slowed down when they get hit. Why well, is kind of hilarious. <laughs> what? Wait, what? What happened here? Uh, crit chance. I don't think I care about that. No, let's go for range here. Yeah. You really want to get the range early on, that the ring blades go out further, and then they can double strike the enemies, which is amazing. In our case, it didn't happen, but eh, it's, it's still okay. Can I actually straight up stand still here and just have them hit all the time so they never ever reach me? Okay, okay. Does it, wait, what is going on? Why do I attack so fast? Do you see that? That was not always the case, right? Wait, what is going on? That is way faster than ever before. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wait, what, what, what? Was that the case the entire time and I'm just dreaming now? Like, we didn't shoot out this stream, right, of projectiles. Is that because we have more range and it makes them bigger? And now it looks like we are shooting out a stream. There's another magnet, by the way. But we are about to face the final boss. And I actually, I'm really curious to see how fast we can kill the boss. And there we go. There's the magnet. Ah, oh, we got a few level ups. It's actually not that much. Huh. Okay, range, range. There's another range. I think, is, isn't 5 the final one? Yeah, I think 5 is the final one. We can reroll. And reroll. Yeah, okay, nothing changed at all. <laughs> That's <laughs> Great reroll. Okay, Mr. Final Boss. How strong are you? Let's... Wait, we are melting him. Per it. Wait, do you know how tanky this guy is? In fact, I was just on stage 2, the prior stage, and I just let myself die to the boss because it took so long to kill them. I was just finishing achievement, but, um... Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, let's, let's just keep shooting, you know what? Let, let's just keep shooting. Um, well, that was it. I don't even think I will cut this entire fight. Just that you see how ridiculously fast this was. But yeah, that was it. Um, a little bit of damage, a very nice damage number in fact. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.